with historically low interest rates, is now the time to refinance that mortgage. My name is Sylvan J. Raman. Welcome back to Intentional Wealth. In today's video, we're going to talk about is this the right time to refinance your mortgage? Go ahead and subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you're notified every time we release new content. What is refinancing? Refinancing is commonly described as replacing your existing loan with a new loan in the effort to reduce your monthly payments by lowering your interest rate and setting new terms. Now, in some cases, you can actually pull out equity in the form of cash from the asset that the loan is tied against. Now, this is true for most loans, but in today's video, we're only going to be talking about mortgages. And for all the calculations and numbers that I express in today's video, we're only talking about 30-year mortgages. Everybody is hyped up about refinancing because of these historically low interest rates. But besides these low interest rates, there are a few things that you need to consider. The first thing that I would consider is, am I resetting the time clock on my mortgage? What do I mean by that? If you've paid five to 10 years down on your mortgage, then the smart thing to do would get a new mortgage with the same term left. Now, if you've paid down five years, then get a new mortgage of 25 years years, or even better yet, get a lower term of 20 years, thus saving you money on the initial interest rate drop and saving you money over time through the shorter term. The second thing I would look at when refinancing is the cost to refinance. Now, yes, there is a cost to refinance just like there was a cost when you got your original loan. Now, the cost to refinance can be given to you by your lending institution. They can also let you know what the breakdown of those costs are associated to. Now, out of the 50 states and the District of Columbia, the average cost to refinance is 1.75% of your principal amount. But for a rough calculation in your situation, I would use two to 3% of your principal amount. For example, if you had a $300,000 principal amount and you were going to calculate 2%, your associated cost would be 6,000. If you use 3% as your associated cost, that would make it 9,000. After knowing your closing costs, now you gotta figure out what is your break even point. Now I've heard of break even in business, but have you ever heard about it in mortgages? If you have, go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you think break even means in mortgages. The third thing I would consider when looking at refinance is the break even point. Cause I'm not really saving any money until I get past my break even point. Now to calculate what your break even point is, you need to take the cost of your refinance and divide it by your monthly savings. So if the cost of your refinance was $6,000 and your savings was $200 a month, you would take 6,000 divided by 200 and that would get you to 30 months. 30 months is your break even and you're not saving any money until you get past that 30 months. Refinancing doesn't make sense if you're going to stay in your house for less than 30 months. And for me, I would only feel comfortable knowing that I was going to stay in the house at least two times my break even point. So if my break even point was 30 months, I would want to know that I'm going to plan to stay in my house for at least another 60 months. The fourth thing I would consider when looking at refinancing right now is to figure out how much equity you have in your home. And this is why. If you have a small amount of equity in your home currently and you decide to refinance now, it might not be a good decision. Let's take Take this scenario for example. If you bought a $300,000 home last year with 5% down and you decide to refinance this year with a 2% closing cost, you're going to cut your equity position by almost half. Now if all the predictions that everybody has made about the real estate market going down 4% by this time next year come true, you're actually going to be in a negative equity position. If something happens in your life in the next two to five years and you need to sell your home and the real estate market hasn't recovered enough, worst case scenario, you're going to get foreclosed on. Best case scenario, you can sell your home, 
by bringing money to the table and walk away with no money in your pocket. These are just four of the factors that everybody should consider when they think about refinancing. Everybody's situation is different and you might need to think about more factors for your particular situation. If you would like to get on a phone call with me and have me walk you through my refinancing thought process, then go ahead and contact my team at info at intentionalwealth.tv and they'll set up a time for us to get together on a phone call. If you like what you've seen here today, subscribe to the channel, like and share the video and follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And don't forget to comment down below what you think about refinancing. Is now a good time or let's just wait it out. See you next week.